fears are a, definitely a genetic trait, right? Like something mm-hmm. something downstream snakes. Phobias. Most yeah. ph- phobia. I mean, I, I, I'm heights. I'm very afraid of heights. I'm mm-hmm. very afraid of. Uh, I didn't think I was afraid of snakes until I saw a real one. Um, but I'm afraid of snakes, and a then real, I'm afraid what, of what was a real snake. A rattlesnake, like a big um, diamondback rattlesnake in Texas. That one that I was going to handle that time, um, and just like, man, you don't look like the snakes we have back uh, back east. You, they've got little round, happy eyes, and they go. <laughs> and like, <laughs> you're looking at me like, do it, motherfucker, do it, do it, well, you <laughs> do, do, it. do it, right? You got copperheads or cotton mouse. We just, yeah, you know, we got those. Like, we exterminated those off our property to such an extent that you just, ne- I never saw one after a while. Like they were all gone. We killed them all. Um, but, but yeah, I'm afraid of rattlesnakes and I'm, and I'm really afraid of spiders and I'm definitely afraid of, I don't know if it's millipedes or centipedes. I get them a bit confused, but one crawled in my bed once when I was like 11 or 12 and bit me in the ribs. And, uh, and I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll always be afraid of them now. Stupid Did it well up? Did it hurt a lot? Did, yeah. Like what was the impact of them? It was like a bee sting. Um, oh. it just hurt and what and yeah. like woke me up and so I jumped up and freaked out. Lights on and there it is, like with all of its thousands of little legs. Did it continue around. to hurt like a bee sting does? I don't think so. Although yeah. I was like real fired up about it. There happened to be a hammer because I'd been hanging something and I pounded him into the carpet with a with a hammer. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I think my parents came in my room because I screamed and then the lights are on and I'm pounding the floor with a with a claw hammer. <laughs> yeah. What did you get it? Oh yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> you got him. All right, justice yeah. is served. I was. It uh, probably I wouldn't have in... scared you that bad if you weren't in such a place of like peace and tranquility, sleeping. When I uh, when I lived in that lake house, we had problems with bugs because the doors didn't seal well, and so like there's around by the lake even there's always extra crittery things, and so there would be spiders in the house, and I was in bed with no shirt on, sort of sitting halfway up watching TV, and I looked, and there's just a big fucking spider crawling across my chest. And I, I jumped up and flicked it off and I lost it. Oh, and no. So, and so now I have to, I'm slowly taking my entire bedroom apart, making sure that the spider isn't on it, in it, and then putting that in the safe zone over there. There's like a green zone on the other side of the bedroom where I'm putting things that don't have spiders in them for fucking sure. Cause I, because <laughs> I made sure. And then after a while, there's very little left on the red zone side of the room. But I've got my I've got like my bug spray and I'm digging around. I'm like, well, I guess I'm gonna go to a hotel. I'm okay, not well, sleeping. that's that's psychotic. You don't know the type of spider. spiders though, like like what, the difference. Between, it was like, a wolf Daddy spider. Long, like... It was like a wolf spider. Like that, like it wouldn't hurt me, but I I still don't want him living in my bed. Like like a tarantula wouldn't hurt me either. He can't live in my bed either. Yeah, a wolf this spider will bad, bite you. By the way, how bad I am. I was looking for my dog. I thought he he's like he's literally right there. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> dude, good fella no dude we got scorpions tarantulas like of course rattlesnakes here and everything but fortunately i have king snakes and uh hognose snakes here now of course coral snakes where are you like uh texas it's like central mm-hmm. texas um and so they pretty much keep the rattlesnakes in check and off the property and so i don't like snakes but I tolerate these guys like, and they, it's really weird. Cause like coach whips kind of have a personality whenever I'm, I'm, you know, drilling the field or brush hogging or anything like that. Like I'll look up and they'll be like sticking their head up and watching me and following me, seeing what's going on and all this other stuff. It's really cool. Hmm. Oh, wait, what kind of snake is that? A coach whip. And if you've ever seen a hog nose, those are really cool snakes too. They like, they like, I don't know, compress flat, lay flat and like make themselves look bigger and puff out, but hmm. they're really cool. They're not like hmm. aggressive or anything like that, but, and they eat the have other you ever had any, uh, snakes. Have you ever had any exotic pets? You seem like the kite that would have a fucking cobra in a cage somewhere. Oh man, that shit. Like, uh, again, I'm not, I don't like snakes. Like I, I, I just know the value of the, them in the ecosystem here. Right. Cause we don't have rats, scorpions. I could do without the tarantulas, Dude, have you ever seen a tarantula hawk? Yes, oh, the, I saw the, the, the wa- coyote the wasp? Peterson yes. standing himself with one. Yeah, yeah, yes. They it's paralyze like wasps the tarantula either. and then drag it to their nest. Yeah, they do that a lot. Wasps might be the worst thing on our planet if you think about how they live their lives and and what they're about. They're completely carnivorous. They they many of the species do what Richard just described, where they paralyze a specific species often. 
that's like the and and drag it back to their nest, lay their eggs in it, and then their larva eat it alive from the inside out usually, and then burst from within. And that's a big part of their life stage. It's not it's it's and it's not like oh it was either lay you in a tarantula or in a orange. No, put, <laughs> it was never going to be an orange. It was always going to be a poor tarantula. Um, yeah. It's uh, the we call them dirt daubers. I don't know what they're really called, but they're these wasps wasps that take mud and make these sort of um, lines mm -hmm. that they make their little colonies in. And if you've ever knocked one off your building or if you're the eve of your house or whatever, you'll see they're full of spiders who have been interred semi alive to be devoured. You, they're full of little really? spiders. Yes. And, and any not just spiders, but sometimes there'll be other little like flies, like anything the wasp could capture and, and like inter in there for its larva to eat. It's terrifying. It's like something out of the worst science fiction. It's 40 K. We would, we'd go in the garden and we'd see all the caterpillars where the wasps had laid the eggs and the caterpillars and like all the scars on their backs. And then like the, the babies growing inside before it's just, ugh. there you go. Yeah, yeah, inside there is a hellscape you can't imagine if you're a spider. <laughs> <laughs> it's Ender's a dark game. place. I'm being honest. You you but. mentioning the tarantula hawk. Have you guys ever seen Coyote Peterson's videos? The like nature guy who's like unbelievably upbeat and he lets himself get stung and bitten by the most horrid things. He's been doing it for so many years. Jesus, and dude. there was a, a recent one that came out that had to be removed from YouTube because I think it was too gory. He it's like it's set up like a sketch. He's like, all right, I'm going to let the snapping turtle, a real snapping turtle, like bite onto the meaty part of his hand and the plan to make sure that it didn't bite all the way through his hand was mm -hmm. to put a stick here. And so it can't bite through the stick. Now, you might imagine a stick like a big old beefy dowel, <laughs> hard wood, like a baton. Steel it rod. was it was the kind of thing that like if it was the structural post for a gingerbread house, it wouldn't hold up. It was the most <laughs> it's the most it's the most laughable stick you've ever seen. And it's like taped to his wrist. So it's just kind of splayed out here. And he's like, the stick will protect me. And so he puts his hand in front of this snapping turtle and it bites damn near clean through his hand. And immediately he's like, beforehand, he's like, and the way this, if this goes wrong, you just dump water on a snapping turtle's head that convinces it that it's now underwater and it will release. And so he immediately is bit. And is if you've seen this guy, he doesn't freak out like ever. He can be stung by the most painful bugs. And he's like, oh, that smarts, gosh darn. And like... <laughs> He it bites clean through his hand and he's like freaking out. The camera is moving up and down because the guy's like jostling it, trying to get close. And the cameraman is panicking so much because he's bleeding so much that he's dumping the cold water on Coyote Peterson's hand instead of on the turtle's head. And so he wastes all the water <laughs> on no. this guy's hand. And he's got like like a chunk of meat that is like if the thing pulls is going to be gone from his hand. It was up on YouTube for like 20 minutes. And they removed the Florida man. Is he? <laughs> he's, I don't know where he is. He travels the world. He travels abroad to accent? get stung. No, no, he's just a dude okay. in a cowboy hat. I like him. He makes good. I'm content. watching a video of his from eight years ago where he has the a snapping turtle, but he does safe things. He has, he has like a, a big on. chunk of yeah. meat. He has a cast to protect his hand at one point. But the turtle that he's showing, if this is the kind of turtle that he he actually let bite him, that's crazy because it's it's the that, biggest, mm -hmm. meanest turtle you've ever seen. That's an alligator snapping turtle. Yeah. Uh, I, dinosaurs. We have those here, I think. Um, we call them loggerhead turtles. Again, when you're in the South, everything has a made up name. Um, <laughs> but, but they would be fucking huge. We'd pull them out of the cat. We'd get them out of our cat catfish pond because, you know, they, they eat the babies, I'm sure. <laughs> Man, snapping turtles are the most ornery, just shitty looking animal. They look mad. They don't yeah. look at like if you've seen a box turtle, box turtles just popping around having a time he's got friendly eyes which is he weird does. for a reptile a to little, have he has a grin he's, he's yeah, like, a little there's a little little toothless grin a little you don't remember franklin from pbs a little franklin grin that for that uh that I remember, hey franklin dun, 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 dun. this though demonic like yeah evil. i've never seen one that that big but i've seen them so big that it's 
you're 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 standing like that when you hold it. Like it's just like this thing is thirty or forty pounds. That's, That's a huge annoying. fucking turtle. How long do they live? I think I bet a long time. Yeah, I wonder if it's comparable to like those uh those sea turtles that are, or whatever, like um or that those Galapagos turtles that um live for hundreds of years seemingly. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty cool. They get to live oh, for God. hundreds of years. But it's like hundreds it's of years shitty. of like of what grass and laying around, like it's being on the bottom too. of a pond, just sort of. Are they stupid? I I went to an aquarium <laughs> recently and they had a sea turtle of some sort, and I was like, mm-hmm. "Hey, are the turtles smarter than the fish? You know, like, can you, do you get any vibe?" And she's like, a "Turtle brain is about the size of the end of your pinky, and they're no smarter than the other like fish, yeah, you know, sharks, whatever swimming yeah. around. Reptiles are notoriously retarded." Like they don't, they don't have a forebrain or a midbrain. I don't think they're like all impulse. And so, like hmm. when if, when someone's like my little my little pet crocodile uh, booby, he loves me. It's like no, it doesn't. It quite literally doesn't have the capacity for the emotion you are willing it to express. But they have you. something. They have something though. Like, look, Hatred, I want to be coldness. with you. <laughs> I, I want to agree with you because I like to be that that cynical guy. That's like, no, that's a monster. It will never love you. Mm-hmm. So check the monster box and move forward. <laughs> but then I see, I see TikToks and YouTube videos, and it's like, this is Arnold and the and and his alligator Terry. He's known Terry since Terry hatched from the egg. They live here in Florida, and they're like in a pond, like playing together. And Terry's like being like clearly, it's not one of those playing together where a handler knows how to handle an animal this guy's just letting the thing sneak up behind him and like nuzzle up to him and shit um it looked like he had a tame gator and then i've also seen those lizards and i don't there's a bunch of different kinds of lizards i don't fucking care but i've seen the ones that they'll like scritch on the lizard and he'll respond like a cat or something sort of Mm. lean and like oh yeah right there have have you seen dogs with big cats big cats being like cougars and tigers oh i've seen those yeah Yeah, they get along well (laughs) yeah do like yeah Cats are smart, though. So I, I I just know a tiny bit about it. But apparently, big cats are really skittish and bad around people. And I don't know how to... Like, fear aggression is is one of the uh, common attribute in them. So what they do is they pair it with a dog who is the opposite. And it becomes a good role model. And then as the cougar, for example, grows up, it just has a little bit of dog influence in its personality, which is great for a zoo. That makes yeah. sense. If you remember the Tiger King, those... um those animals had little dachshunds or something running around with them, oh. like yip, 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 like chasing the lion and like licking it in the lion's mouth and chomping on its ears. And this big lion is just like, oh, but this little dachshund <laughs> fuck it These up. are yellow labs, but yeah, I can imagine that would work. Yeah. yeah. Have yeah, you seen really the videos of uh, there's this guy, and actually, actually, I think it's happened multiple times. This one dude raised a hippo from birth <laughs> what in a Africa. Terrible idea. Yeah, a hippo, which is smarter than a reptile. And it's like he raised this hippo for like 18 years. And then one day they were going to do what they do, which is fool around in the, the swimming hole. And the hippo like bit him in half and drowned him at the same time. Like just <laughs> just murdered him. And it's like, what did you think was going to happen, moron? I like, love that, know dude. where hippos were on the how scared you should be hierarchy until like 10, 15 years ago. It was Steve Irwin. It was uh, yeah. the, the crocodile hunter. Don't this they kill guy more people than just about anything else? Like, yeah. Snuggles, crocodiles, and alligators and whatever. He doesn't think twice of swimming underneath them and touching their bellies. He was a football field away from a hippo. And he's like, this does not feel safe. I am yeah. concerned. I don't know how to handle hippos. It's because they, they have move. like an internal map and they're, they're so fiercely territorial that even if you're that far away, they're like, that, uh, that guy? He's on my area. This is my area. The only have way to solve this chase is murder. A boat? Like yeah. there's yes. a boat with like full throttle in the wake of the hippo. Yes. He's like, <laughs> he's like, how is he hippos going? Hippos are incredibly underwater. fast in the water. They're basically yeah. aquatic Shh. animals. It's mm-hmm. scary. There's a scene in, in the movie Congo where the hippos attack, and I thought it was science fiction when I was a kid because the rest of the movie is. I think it's the Crichton <laughs> novel. You know, there's lasers and and attack gorillas and blue diamonds and shit in that movie, but the hippo shit was legit. It topples the boat and eats Makimbe. Yeah, that's a problem. They we don't needed him. You. He knew the way. They just <laughs> they just tear you to pieces and then leave you. So, yeah, they. I I have seen them also like feeding them whole melons, and I I'd love to feed a hippo a melon. Like I'd okay, take the risk. Okay, you're right about that. But 
other than that, I would like to stay far away. Have you seen the clip of the oh, the one doing an like an Indian zoo slapping a hippo on the head to get it back in a cage? Have you seen that? <laughs> this this hippo that. was like trying to escape an enclosure that had a barrier that should never have been past muster for a hippo enclosure. And it, it's like both feet out, like the way a dog is on a like those little like kitchen gates, like a smaller mid-sized mm -hmm. dog. It's like that trying to go over. And there's like this, I think it's in like fucking India. And this guard is like lackadaisically like smacking it on its like hairy <laughs> nose. And eventually the thing gets like kind of spooked enough that it's like, all right, uh, you win this round. And it goes back in the water which everyone was like, that's so well-trained, that's crazy. And I was just thinking, like, they're shocking the shit out of that thing every night or something in order for it to be that afraid of something. Like, that's like you being afraid of your yeah. Pomeranian. That might not hold up forever. I am afraid I, of that Pomeranian. It hurts. <laughs> Ever put peanut butter on a dog's nose, and then you get, like... It, it's a little it's bit torturous, going. but it's kind of funny, and they like lick the, the, the thing. I want to put, like, a watermelon or a pumpkin on a rhinoceros' spike. Just fucking plunk that thing on there and watch him try to get the pumpkin See, what off. you do, you take your rhino, <laughs> you put the pumpkin on his snoop, and then you put him on a treadmill that powers some sort of electrical <laughs> generator. It's genius. All right? yeah. And he just walks and walks. He never gets the melon. Oh, yeah. People are debating if this is the best use of the final three rhinos. <laughs> yeah, they used to have, you know, they used to have those. I think Kyle just discovered a perpetual motion. These right rhinos power enough the electricity crisis. every day to almost light this bulb. We figure after the millions we've given them, it's time they return the favor to us. And the bulb like turns a little like brownish yellow for a second. Oh, oh. No, still not enough. <laughs> Perhaps a fourth rhino would do it if only there were uh, four. <laughs> only there's there's only there. three. <laughs> no, I don't care about endangered species that are like that. I think we should no, save like, as much. Nah, no, we should save that's, as much. That's fucking communist, Taylor. If you were capitalist, if you lived in a meritocracy, you'd let these things go extinct. Yes. Okay, I'm fine with like bugs going away. Like the, <laughs> which ones? We need bees. So no, much. the shitty, the shitty bugs. Like bees are good. And which I'm fine with like a, a terrible shitty? wasp. A, a wasp. All right, the wasps I'm can fine go. With that. But like. I think the white rhino is gone now, right? Isn't that the big one? The big rhino? And the well, black rhinos are almost gone? I mean, there were bigger ones before that one. We act like we're supposed to keep the exact number of animals that were here when we started counting fucking animals, I guess. I just mean like, if we like, can keep them. How is that the bar? Like the like, cool like, animals. Rhinos are no. awesome. What's awesome about them? They look, they're, they're, they're blind. They're stupid. You ever see an elephant bully a rhino? I saw an elephant pick up a stick and throw it at a rhino. Yeah, I have. Those are cool videos, too. We should okay. have elephants. Save too. the okay. elephants. Fuck the rhinos. They're too People? expensive. And fuck those goddamn <laughs> Chinese communist bears. I've had yes. enough American <laughs> Western dollars go to those commie bears. Draw a Pandas, fucking line. Right? Pick yeah. an American species <clears throat> and, and bring them back from the brink. People I'm always fine. worry about the animals going extinct, right? Oh, this thing drops off, that thing's wrong, we'll never get it back. They never talk about the new animals being created. Humans alone have added like 37 genders in my lifetime. Oh. Mm -hmm. So I've far. Seen... <laughs> 37, 37 so, far. so far. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that, that is true. Uh, I don't think we can yeah. just invent new animal species, though. What I'm excited about, and there's, you never know when you're about something where it's either something that's very ambitious or maybe even overly ambitious and slightly science fiction if it's a scam or or if it's a real dreamer who's got an idea and there's that that one program that's been taking money for a while to bring back the mammoth so they they mm -hmm. to they want to like fertilize an egg or create a mammoth with some some uh some genetic material they have and put it in a african elephant womb and have the the elephant would give birth to a woolly mammoth, essentially. I'm and fine with that. That's awesome. That would be so cool. And it's short sighted thinking. It's only one mammoth. You get we're gonna make more. We're gonna make more. The, the idea. The idea. Once you have it. one, we have so much funding, we can make a fucking uh, Jurassic you know, Park uh, two. It's in the Bible, Kyle. It'd be good. So if what you they were that. they were saying that we were gonna do is <laughs> take the DNA of the woolly mammoth and then and then have this hybrid which is like 50 50 and then they right. would take the hybrids dna and then they would do it with the woolly mammoth's dna and incrementally make yeah. a more 
woolly okay. mammoth. So we'd get like a Makes faux sense. mammoth over time. You would wouldn't, wouldn't be a hundred percent like right on the money, but it would be it would way be way so, better than what we I got. Mean, we're not a hundred percent fucking like Homo sapiens. So like, what if we we made the pass. first mammoth and then like it hit adulthood and it killed itself and we were like, oh, you're 100% like that's why they're sapien. gone. They all killed them. They all killed them. Like, like it's a suicidal, uh, and, it, race and it was like a species. It like it, it braided a rope and ever and hung itself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We were talking about like genetic behaviors. Yeah, they didn't just jump off a cliff. <laughs> they, they jump off cliffs. We can't stop themselves. them. All these yeah. fucking. We, we spent so much money making woolly mammoths, and they I jump would, off everything. Uh, I'm out over my skis on this fucking mammoth project. <laughs> I'm losing money. <laughs> didn't they just uh, auction a stake? Like a woolly mammoth steak or something where you could like, like they had some that you could buy or something. That's a good idea. I remember something about that. That sounded like they pulled it from the tundra. It was preserved. And they were like, we're going to have steaks. Yeah. (laughs) We got plenty of them, Woody. You don't even know. These things died by the droves for some reason. We don't know. The guy who's like (laughs) making that steak is like, God damn, if this wasn't a scam, I'd be guilty. (laughs) (laughs) Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's just the usda beef wow oh, this is a steak with fucking Wait, hair and it. It. <laughs> it the, the idea though like if you could get one mammoth i think there'd be enough funding that would flow in to make multiple mammoths and sure. if you had a mammoth park what if you could get like not jurassic park because that's too too long apparently like dna doesn't last that long but maybe like like a like like a ten thousand year ago BC type part where you had some of that some of that mega fauna that you could bring back because there was all sorts of crazy Giant shit. Sloth. Apparently, apparently we used to live inside of armadillo shells. Like people yeah, made our homes people. in armadillo shells because there was this gigantic armadillo I think in North America that we hunted to extinction mostly because their shells were house sized. And like, what were, what else were they doing? Well, I mean, they were being fucking gigantic armadillos and, <laughs> until we came along. <laughs> Armadillos like <laughs> always sick from something or never sick from something. There's something I think I think some of them leprosy? carry leprosy, which yeah. someone should have Are told me before I chased that one down. <laughs> yeah, you're not supposed to touch them because they. Yeah, I guess they're immune to leprosy, which is why they can just carry. I grabbed one by the tail, tried to Gross. pull it out of its hole. Yeah, he was too strong. He just kept going. Really. I only see them yeah. dead on the side of the road. I've never, never seen them. holding someone's tail, one. though. Oh, I'm always I afraid to pull too hard. Uh, you know, like, what if his tail comes off? He sprays you know what me I saw with that leprosy. was really cool? <laughs> and you guys won't think it's cool at all. The first time I saw tumbleweed, that was cool. Like, tumbleweed actually oh, yeah. rolling across the road and shit. Like, you're right. That was, that was cool. But 20th yeah. time, you're like, they should fucking do something about this shit. <laughs> <laughs> this is build a wall. <laughs> why is there not a tumbleweed wall at the very least like like <laughs> jesus we're a hike we're terrestrial animals and we are yeah. best on land we're we stars stuck in the water we're we're not even like lower third in the water we're bottom one percent of water dwelling creatures we're top tier for hominids like, like look at the look at the motherfuckers they drown right away they fear the water orangutan sees you jump in the water he thinks he writes you off right away he think you might as well jump into lava as far as he's concerned have you seen the clips of the gorillas like crossing a stream and they're doing their gorilla like quadruped walk and then they get to the stream and they stand up like a person with like their gorilla paws <laughs> up and they like <laughs> across because they don't want to get their knuckles wet and then they go back to it. Oh, funny. Yeah. Yeah. They don't like it any. I guess they like it way less than we do. All yeah, right. Fine. I've, We're the best of the the bipedal apes. I've seen the Are orangutan. Deep. Um, that washes itself with soap in the river because it had seen people do it in the river. And I saw the one that sweeps its enclosure. Because, not well, mind yes. you. It's, it's, it's operating a broom, though, for sure, on purpose. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of doing what? Uh, hammers, too. With the, there's a David Attenborough Ooh, clip. Oh, that's sad. David Attenborough is like, notice the way they can mimic human behavior. Lucy here is using a hammer because her handler, Marcus, was using one last week. And like you show Lucy doing it and she's holding it totally wrong. She's not even yep. the nail is like laid on a piece of board and she's just uh, uh, there's no there's no spark. There's no yeah. understanding of like of what's of why what this is, why it is, what this is, why it is. She just knows that this. <clears throat> yeah. I saw someone what? do this and I'm going to mimic that monkey yeah. see monkey do. I don't know why he was doing it and I don't know why I'm doing it. But the guy and, who and she really doesn't it. understand what he's doing either because she mm-hmm. has no she's not putting the nail there she's not hitting it like she, she 
Planet of the Apes is, a, is, is not going to happen anytime soon, I don't think. No, we dominate the other apes. Not even a contest. Well, in Planet of the Apes, did you ever, have you seen the new movie? The I think there's like four or five of them now. Um, but it, start, um, I've it seen started off with, with like a virus that, that I think made the apes smart and killed people or something. So there's like not as many people, but, but now you've got super smart apes. I think the new one's coming out soon. It's like Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. That CGI is good. Those apes look disturbingly real. 